The probability of rolling any of these numbers on this dice is 1 in 6. However, that's theoretical probability. Theoretically, I have a 1 in 6 chance. But experimentally, that not may, may not be the case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to conduct a simulation, and that is simply just rolling this dice, and I'm going to roll it 12 times and keep track of the results. So here's my frequency table I created, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some fractions out of these. As you can see from the fraction, we do have three numbers that statistically or experimentally came up one six times, but we also have a number five that only came up one in twelve, four never came up at all, and three came up nearly half the time at five and twelve. Now, theoretically, if we kept rolling the dice, let's say, 6,000 times instead of 12 times, each of those fractions would look closer to 1 6, uh, theoretically. But in this experiment, we don't get those results. And that's going to be the difference between experimental probability and theoretical probability. Use the force, must you? Yes, concentrate.